Sometimes when I walk into my office, I get the feeling that I'm walking among the ruins of a lost civilization. Not because of the reigning disorder, but because it feels like the remains of the civilized person I used to be. Where is that damn detective? I'm gonna rip his head off. I swear I'll tear his eyes out. Hey! Hand over the pictures, you bastard. Now! Otherwise, you're gonna be dead meat. Hear me, cat? Do I know you? Your face rings a bell, but... You've been spying on me. You took pictures of me with a lady. <laughs> well, then you'll understand why I didn't really focus on your face, right? I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the goddamn pictures! It wasn't my first time I regretted a guy like him. But at least I bought enough time to aim at his soft spots. Jaw. Well, now it matches your marriage. If you show my wife those pictures, I'm dead meat. You'll ruin my life, please! Sure, the gun didn't work. So why not shed some tears? I wasn't gonna use it, man. I've never shot a fly. And I'm no two-timer, either. It only happened once, for God's sake! I'm just her bodyguard, that's all. She seduced me! I love my wife, honest to God. I, I even quit the damn job for her. You can't break up a family for one tiny mistake. Look, you protect that girl, and I spy on people like you. We all have to be professional, no matter how sick it makes us at times. Okay, how about this? You give me those pictures, and tell her a white lie, and I pay you ten times what she's offering. You save my family, and you make a pretty penny. What do you say? Deal? For as long as I could remember, I had collected nothing more than bad gigs, debt, and sorrow. My self-respect and bank account were racing to see who'd hit rock bottom first. There was more than money at stake. The man seemed honest. The best I could do for his wife was to hide the truth, no matter how low it made me feel. All right. I'll tell your wife you're clean. Get the hell out of here before I regret it, pal. Three. Thank God. Two. You're a good man, Blackside. One. You won't regret helping out Eugene Colbert. I promise you that. My uninvited guest had left me several gifts. First of all, a massive headache. That guy's skin was hard as a rock. Second of all, an empty wallet. Business as usual. Third, I was starting to second-guess the morality of my last choice. Last but not least, the certainty that more gifts were yet to come. He's a nice guy. <clears throat> you see what I said about my pal Black Sad? Doesn't even know you, and he's already offering you a seat. <laughs> Jake, how the hell am I supposed to guess it's you if you don't even knock first? Shut up and listen, buddy. All right? I brought you a client.
and that's why we need to find him soon, or we, we will have a very serious problem. Hmm. Thanks for the information and the picture. They'll really come in handy. Let me see if I have this straight. Bobby Yale, a boxer at Dunn's Gym, has a crucial fight against the reigning champion in two weeks. But he disappeared two days ago. Yes. Your father, Joe Dunn, boxing manager and gym owner, hanged himself two days ago. Yes. In short, if Bobby Yale is a no-show for his fight, you'll have to pay a fine. But since you don't have the cash on hand, your father's gym would have to close. Yes. So you want me to find Bobby Yale? Yes. No. Jake wants you to find Bobby. Oh, I see. Well, first of all... Your father took his life the same day his pupil disappeared. Sorry, but something just doesn't add up. Damn it, John. Will you take the case or not? Sure. I know the money is tight, so uh, how about this? If I solve the case, we'll see how much you can pay. I'm sure we'll find a suitable price. I know you already went to Yale's apartment and found nothing, but I'll search it myself at some point. That cleaning lady, Miriam Purnell, the one who found Joe Dunn's body, she works part-time at Sam's Diner, just down the road on the left, right? That's right. Uh, I think I might uh, pay her a visit as well. And the gym, of course, and see what I can find. Okay, I think I've got enough to start with for now. Ah, uh, I better leave these two alone. Is that done? Wow.
someone should weld the iron bar on those panels.
On the surface, it seems dry, but there's no dust, and it's damp underneath. It could have fallen the day Dunn died. Hmm. Hmm, locked. But a true detective never leaves home without his... Huh? Uh, sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it. Not sure what to make of the outcome.
What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up. <laughs> 